Okay, chat. So I decided to try Killer, right? For two days. I'm a survivor man. I got 3,000 hours into this game. I just wanted to see, like, how things would be now. Because when I first started playing Killer in the beginning, I pretty much sucked. Because, I mean, I, I sucked at Survivor and Killer because I was new. And I've gotten better since then because I feel like they say if you play both sides, you understand the game a little bit better. Because if you're a survivor man, you play Killer... You will know exactly how to pretty much chase better because you know how survivor moves because you play survivor. If you were a killer and you know how to chase, uh, and you know how to chase survivors, you pretty much know how like where the hiding spots are because you probably thinking where you would hide, right? So taking that in, I decided just to see for myself. Uh, even though, listen, I do not play killer like that at all. I only unlocked one teachable perk ever, and that was with Bubba, and that's knockout. Um, I don't have, I didn't have corrupt, I didn't have any slowdown perks, okay, um, I didn't use no ed at all, even though I could have used it, I didn't have, I didn't camp, I didn't tunnel, I slugged one time, because at the very end, it was kind of getting, you know, crazy, but for the most part, I won like 50% of my games, you know, and mostly with Bubba, because Bubba Chainsaw is just crazy, but I feel like the more I won games, the more the more experience I got with survivors. Even though to be no disrespect to those survivors, but those survivors to me wasn't like at the level of, like how I play as far as survivor. So I feel like it wasn't like I went up against total juicers. It's just I'm not really good at killer. I mean, I was missing a lot of basic attacks. Uh, I was missing, especially with like the doctor. The thing that I liked about the doctor though is that he can shock you and like find your location. You know, unless you run in calm spirit, but most people don't. I will say this, um, survivor's mistakes can be corrected by like maybe another survivor. Uh, they have teammates. A uh, killer mistake, they only have themselves to like try to correct it and that can be tough. And the reason why I say that is because like if somebody's sitting in the basement or somebody's just bad in chase or somebody, you know, like me, I could carry the load and, you know, take a killer on a long chase, a five gen, four gen chase. I can do that, right? Not all the time, but I can do that. And as long as people are knocking out gens, then I'm pretty much helping my teammate. So, you know, uh, but the only downside about with Survivor is that, you know, if, you got, if you're running that long and people aren't, like, focused on doing totems or gens or whatever, then that could be an issue. Uh, with Killer, the thing I liked about Killer for the most part is that it was refreshing. The only thing that was refreshing to me was that I did not have to rely on somebody else at all. I'm very accountable for my mistakes. Okay, if I played poorly, again, I didn't do everything I feel like I could have done. And some of these killers rely on, like, a little bit of, of with RNG as far as, you know, what map you're going to be on and your success. That can really rely, like, that can really dictate, you know what I mean? Um, just like the Hunter, she could be on a certain maps that she's not really well in, like, maybe like an indoor map. I don't think the Hunters would do well on an indoor map or whatever. But like a map like this, you know, in the open space, yeah, she could probably be able to throw hatchets and stuff. She's really good. My thing is that with killer mistake is two things I feel like they can make a mistake on. One um, is not pressuring the map well enough. Not, maybe not having a killer that's really good at map pressure. You know, uh, like a nurse or like a blight, etc. Um, and then, or or just you know facing a juicer. A per what I mean by juicer, I mean somebody that's really good at looping and that can take you on a you know five gen chase. And instead of breaking chase, you know, which it was only one time I did that where I could like or maybe a couple times where I couldn't catch the survivor. And then I found myself spending too much time on that survivor. So I'm like, you know, like I got to get better at this. Now I'm playing this game. Now you see Bill. I go after him. Now, mind you, I could have tunneled. I could have tunneled. I could have camped because he basically went right. Like he now I don't know. See, again, I was just missing stuff and they just do down the pallet but you see how like this bill and this is why like i told myself if i ever played killer i would just go after that person that unhooked right in front of me and then survivors would be like oh well you're, you're oh well, you're tunneling but it's just like no it's like bro you gotta at least give somebody a chance to like at least let me turn around and go across across the world before you unhook right in front of me you know what i mean um again you know i, I just i just feel bad i will tell you this i just feel bad um, of when I don't leave at the exit gate or like when I'm not around, around hatch or whatever. I just feel bad when I just don't do that because I had survivors doing that with me. And it just it was just was not cool at all. But at the same time, I look at it like this. You know, me, well, I'll tell you this. When I, when it happened to me, I pretty much like I, I smiled and I nodded my head and stuff like that. Just to show them, hey, man, I'm cool. It is what it is. It's a video game. If you're going to play this game, you got to understand and respect the fact that 
this is DBD. This is just what's going to happen. You either play the game or not. And I hate to see that a lot of killers stop playing the game. You know, especially if they are killer mains. But this is just DBD, man. You know, it have a lot of cruel people into this game. It's a, it's a lot of people that I just feel like are so toxic to me. What I mean by toxic, I mean just having bad manners. You're not toxic for camping. You're not toxic for slugging. You are To me, you are somewhat toxic for hitting somebody repeatedly on the hook just because they took you on the chase. Like, just because they juiced you on the chase doesn't mean that when you finally catch them, you should just hit them all day on the hook. That's just my opinion. Right? Just like survivors, you know, they don't have to tease. But at the same time, guess what? It's DBD. It's going to happen. See, I did my little head nod, though. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. That's just what it is. I feel like, you know, it's the world. It don't matter what game you play. It's always going to be somebody with just a different mindset than you that take this game more seriously. I, mean, I was just watching Spook and Jukes, one of my favorite uh, DBD streamers and YouTubers. Um, and I really want to include, even though probably not a lot of people are going to see this video, but I really would like to include one of the guy's links inside the description. But this guy was a you know killer main and one of his parents died. I think his mama died and... One of the people in the uh, chats that he tunneled or camped or whatever said, hey, you know, maybe if your mother was still here, I mean, maybe if you didn't camp or tunnel, maybe your mom would still be here. Like, what kind of stuff is that? What kind of stuff is that? It's a video game, people. It's a video game. Like, dude, that really made me not even want, like, that made me think about playing this game because it, it gets stressful playing this game because I feel like, when I play this game as, you know, when I upload clips, I already get people just being negative. And I be mean being negative, I mean they subjectively being negative, not being objective. You're not telling me what I'm doing right or wrong. You're just saying, you're assuming that my skill level is bad or whatever. Or you must be going against baby killers or whatever. Like, it's just, a, it's, it's, it's just a lot of hatred in this community, you know. But I love playing the game. I love playing this game. I love trying to learn to get better at Survivor. Like I said, I will just, you know trying out killers and i will say this man i have a lot more respect for what killers go through like this guy right here like you see how he's teabagging over a hatch right and i'm just shaking my head you know like i said he wasn't you know he wasn't bothering me you know i guess i have you know i don't really mind it all that much it's just the fact that like if i have a bad game i guess i feel a little different but now let's watch this thing. see i shocked him right he can't close it so i, I decided to close it on him because I did the same thing to this one killer, right? The doctor did it to me in the beginning. When I was a beginning survivor, I was teabagging. But he didn't let me go. But I felt like he learned his lesson. You know what I mean? I'm a nice guy. You know, I felt like he learned his lesson. He got humbled in this situation. So I decided to give him hatch. To make a long story short, man, um, I have more respect for killers, man. Um, and I will no longer teabag or just stand at the gate. Uh, unless you hit me on hook unnecessarily, then I'm gonna uh, then I'm gonna talk my ish, you know. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you guys think. Um, and yeah, comment your experience. And if nothing else, please like, share, subscribe if you're new. And peace. I'm out.